Hello besties! Are you ready to go shopping? Hi friends, my name is Lexi and welcome or welcome back to my channel! Today is a very very exciting day because today is the book shopping video day. Oh, I love book shopping. Nothing brings me serotonin like going to a bookstore and smelling new books or old books and then bringing them home and staring at my new pile of books. I don't know what it is. There's nothing like it in the world. Although pizza is a close second. Anyways, today's video is all about my book shopping experience and all of the books that I purchased during my book shopping journey, which I have here. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a haul after the book shopping vlog as well. But before we go ahead and get started, I would like to thank today's sponsor, which is Green Chef. Well, hello there, besties. Do you know what I love? aside from books, food. And if you have been a subscriber for a long time, you will know that I am the ultimate foodie. I love baking, I love cooking, and I love trying out new recipes. And so finding out all about Green Chef has literally made all of my dreams come true. Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic meal company that helps you cook clean, delicious dinners week after week with step-by-step -step recipes and pre-measured premium ingredients that save you time. And Green Chef is amazing because they are a food subscription company that caters to your individual lifestyle. So if you would prefer eating keto or paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, or gluten-free, this is the subscription for you. With Green Chef, you get organic produce and premium proteins, so you can feel great about what you're eating and how it got to your table. I also love the convenience and ease of the Green Chef meal kits. Every single meal kit actually comes with different recipes, and the recipes break down the meals and the cooking so that everything is really, really easy for you to understand. Understand, whether you are a professional chef or a beginner like me. And I also love that a lot of these meals are actually inspired by international cuisine dishes, so you can actually try different meals from all over the world as well. And finally, I love that this is a certified organic company. And just in time for the new year, they are actually introducing a new way to eat keto. With their new limited time keto kickoff of 2023, you can now order keto meals for breakfast and dinner. You'll find more delicious keto options than ever before including recipes on the menu as well as meal bundles in the green market. I had so much fun with my Green Chef experience. I absolutely loved every single meal that came in my kit. I ended up making the chicken chimichurri first and I loved this so freaking much. This is actually a Cuban inspired dish and it was absolutely incredible. And this actually came with everything that I needed. So all of the fresh ingredients, the bell peppers, the onion, the chicken, everything came fresh and beautiful and it was just such such a fun experience to cook and make. I could not recommend using Green Chef more, especially if you're a person who loves to cook or maybe you're a little bit intimidated actually by cooking because I feel like they break everything down in such digestible and easy ways. And right now, if you would actually like to try out Green Chef, they have given me such an incredible code. You can use my code, which is Roseland60, to get 60% off your very first purchase. Amazing. And with this, you also get free shipping. So if you are interested at all in shopping with Green Chef, you can just go to greenchef.com and then type in my code, which again is Roseland60 for 60% 60 off your very first purchase. I could not recommend this meal kit enough, you guys. I really, really loved my experience using Green Chef. And again, if you're a person who loves cooking or would like to try cooking more in the new year, I highly, highly recommend checking them out. All of the links will be down below in my description if you are interested. And again, I highly, highly recommend them. And with that, let's go ahead and get back to the video. Okay, besties, grab yourself something cozy to drink, and without further ado, let's go book shopping in three, two, one. Hello, friends. Okay, so we are just about to start the official book shopping day, and I'm so excited. I do have quite the lengthy list, and on top of my lengthy list, I also asked you over on my Patreon as well as on my Bookstagram any recommendations, so I feel like I'm going into this equipped with lots of book recommendations that I'm going to check out. But before we begin this epic journey, I need to get some caffeine in me. Doesn't that sound so wonderful? So I'm gonna see if I can find like a local Starbucks or a coffee shop or something along the way. And then we can start with book shopping. 
Okay, we just got here to our very first location, which is going to be the book and cover. I love this local indie bookstore so much. It's run by three best friends. Every time I come here, my heart is just filled with serotonin. If you live in Chattanooga, I highly recommend checking out this indie bookstore as well as the Winder Binder. I don't think I'm gonna go to Winder Binder today, but I love both of them so much. And we're here, I'm so excited. Also, I did get a coffee and this coffee is super, super good. I always get the grande vanilla brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso and it's so good but okay we're here i've got my list let's do some book shopping Okay, so I do feel I was rather successful. I found several books at the book and cover that I was really, really excited about. One of which I've never heard of before, but looked amazing and apparently won like a bunch of prizes. Love that so much. Now we are officially at Barnes and Noble and it has just started to sprinkle and rain. It's literally the perfect day to go book shopping because of like the gloomy kind of rainy weather. It's a good day. I hope you're having a good day. Let's continue on with the book shopping. There she is. There's that beautiful Barnes and Noble. Can't really see it, but she's there. We're here. I'm gonna try to not sing in public. Honestly, like I just feel the serotonin right now, you know? So happy. Okay, I actually see the very first book that I'm getting. I did not think that they would have this and Kayla has been talking about this a lot. So I think I'm gonna buy this one. This is a short story collection and apparently it's really weird and I love that. <gasps> Next, this book. I really, really wanna read this book. It looks so good. Thank you. You guys, I've been looking everywhere for this. I am so excited to pick this one up. Amazing. Okay, so here's the problem. They all sound good. So now I have to sort through these and kind of read through a little bit and see exactly what I'm leaning more towards. Okay. Hello besties. So it has been the ultimate book shopping day so far. Apparently that guy agrees. I am so happy. I ended up getting like seven, oh my gosh, books. And I'm so happy. And I am at McKay's. McKay's got like a little bit of like a, a, a makeover. I have to show you, it looks so pretty, the entrance. I'm really excited. If you don't know what McKay's is, it's basically a very, very large, almost like warehouse bookstore. And I love going in there and trying to find different deals for different books. There are a couple of books that I'm looking for. The first one is Lessons in Chemistry. I almost bought the at Barnes and Noble, but I have a feeling because it is so popular and there were multiple copies just at that Barnes and Noble, I will find a copy here. I don't know why, I think I will. And then the other thing that I'm looking for is Our Wives Under the Sea. That one is a little bit more niche, so I don't know if I will find it. But aside from those, maybe one other title, I don't think I'm really going to be buying a lot in this store because I, I already bought like quite a few books today. So we'll see what we can find, but really I'm just looking for lessons in chemistry. So let's go and see if we can find any good books at McKay's. Look at how pretty it looks. I literally love it. Okay, so let's see. I'm not seeing it yet. Hmm, reckless Girls. Hmm, I'm pretty sure that the last name started with a G. So I don't think it's here, but I can look in a different section too. Okay, I couldn't find the other two books, so now I'm just in middle grade, seeing if there's anything here. Mm. Ooh, the Cruel Prince, good book. Hello, 
Okay, so I just got back from McKay's. I'm still in the parking lot right now. And I didn't actually see the lessons in chemistry book that I wanted, which was a little bit of a bummer, but I'm actually pretty okay with this because I ended up not finding any books that I really wanted to like go home with. However, I found so many at Barnes Noble and at the book and cover that I'm really, really, really happy with like all of my purchases. There were a couple of books that I really, really wanted. One was Our Wives Under the Sea. Barnes and Noble didn't have it and neither did the book and cover, but I'm thinking this is a sign because this is the American US edition and I really want the UK edition, which in my mind looks a little bit more intriguing. And kind of the same thing with Lessons in Chemistry. This is the American version, which looks okay, but this is the UK edition and I think that looks even cooler. So I think I wanna order both of those online. And then the last thing that I wanna order online was Lost in the Moment and Found because the bookstores didn't have that one either and I really, really wanna get that. But other than those, I think I got everything on my list and I'm so happy about it. So now what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna treat myself to some Thai food. I'm gonna pick some up, go home, feed my dogs and my cat and enjoy some nice Thai food. And I will see you in just a second with the final results and the book haul. Bye. Hello. So it is a couple of days later and I am here to haul all of the books that I got from the book and cover as well as Barnes and Noble and the books that I also ordered in the mail. I think I have about 15 books here and we love a good book haul on this channel. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the book and cover and I got four books from the book and cover and also I got some merch. So let me show you the merch because I'm really excited. So I got two different pieces of merch. The first one is an oversized t-shirt and it just has the book and cover like little store on it. I really, really like the pale blue and I feel like this is going to be the perfect thing to sleep in but also just to hang out and read in. And then the next thing is this beautiful cream colored sweatshirt. Again, I got this one a little oversized as well. I really wanted something super, super cozy. And the front actually has this like little logo. I thought at first it was whiskers but I think it's like the spine and pages of a book. So that is that. I don't know if you can even see that. And then on the back, it says, read more books, stay curious. The book and covers like little logo. And I just think it's so cute. I wanted to support them. I wanted to get the sweatshirt, but also this just felt so like soft and cozy. And I know this is gonna be my go-to reading sweatshirt now when I'm just like lounging around the house and I'm so excited. Now let's go on to the books. <laughs> okay, so like I said, I ended up getting four books. The very first one is YA and it is The Last Crustacean and this is by Donna Barbara Huguera. The cover on this book fully caught my attention. I just think it looks so beautiful. Pietra's world is ending. Earth has been destroyed by a comet and only a few hundred scientists and their children, among them Pietra and her family, have been chosen to journey to a new planet. They are the ones who must carry on the human race. Hundreds of years later, Pietra walks to this new planet and the discovery that she's the only person who remembers Earth. And then apparently it's about like a collective that is erasing the memories of Earth. And it's just about her, I think, trying to keep the memories of our planet alive. And next up, I got Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. Everybody is talking about this book. All I know about this is that we are following two friends and I think their friendship as well as their relationship with video games. And I don't know, it sounds like an interesting concept. I love books about video games. I loved Ready Player One. I know that this is gonna be vastly different than that, but I've heard such great things about this. And this is, I think, adult literary fiction. Next up, I snatched up The Villa by Rachel Hawkins. This book was on my 23 books that I wanna read in 2023. This is a thriller. Apparently this was inspired by so many different things. This has Daisy Jones, vibes because I think some of this takes place in the 70s and also talks a little bit about rock and roll but it was also inspired by Mary Shelley's I think vacation with Lord Byron when she wrote Frankenstein. I don't know how all of that marries but apparently there are two different storylines and they both take place in this little Italian villa where I think a bunch of murders possibly happen. And then next up is a book that the cover kind of caught my attention. I've never heard of this book before and it is called The Seven Moons 
moves of Molly Almedia. And apparently this also won the 2002 Booker Prize Award. We're following Molly Almedia. And Molly Almedia has just woken up dead. He has no idea who killed him. In a country where scores are settled by death squads, suicide bombers, and hired goons, the list of suspects is depressingly long. But even in the afterlife, time is running out for Molly. He has seven moons to contact the man and woman he loves most and lead them to the photos that will rock Sri Lanka. I love that we're following a main character who wakes up dead and like now has all of these things to do before he can pass on. I just think it's gonna be really, really fascinating. And I don't know, I'm really excited to read this. And that is it for that store. Now let's move on to Barnes & Noble. Also, look at how stunning the reusable bag is that I got from Barnes & Noble. I'm obsessed with this thing. So the very first book that I purchased was Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. And this is a novel by Heather Fawcett. This is another book that was on my 23 books to read in 2023. This is one of my most anticipated books of the entire year. And this is a book that I think I'm gonna be reading with my Patreons over the summertime. I'm so excited to pick this up. We're following a professor named Emily. And Emily is documenting and creating her own encyclopedia of fairies. And apparently when she arrives to a new town, she finds that she has like an academic rival. And it says, but as Emily gets closer and closer to uncovering the secrets of the hidden ones, the most elusive of all fairies lurking in the shadowy forest outside of town. She also finds herself on the trail of another mystery. Who is Wendell Bambley? And what does he really want? To find the answer, she must unlock the greatest mystery of all, her own heart. It's a little bit of like an academic rivals to lovers possibly storyline as well. There's fairies involved, there's dark magic involved. I'm so excited. And this I think is an adult fantasy and I love it. I'm like, I'm already so excited about this, I can't even tell you. I think this is probably going to be one of my favorite books of the year, I'm predicting it now. Okay, next up I had to pick this up because Liv from Olivia Reads a Latte has been telling me that I need to read it and it's called A Curious Beginning and this is by Deanna Rayborn and this is apparently like a cozy mystery and we're following Veronica Speedwell and this is the very first book and apparently Veronica is being chased or like hunted down or something by a person, she ends up teaming up with a person named Stoker, I think, and they're on the run from this elusive assailant. So I think they have to figure out what this person wants with Veronica and kind of like the mystery surrounding Veronica and this person. That's all I know. I bought this because of Liv and I'm really, really excited to read it. The next book is a book that I bought fully because of Kayla from Books and Lala and it is called Out There by Kate Folk. And this is a collection of adult short stories and the short stories apparently are supposed to be really weird. Some of them I think are supposed to be really speculative as well. And if you didn't know, I actually love short story collections and I love weird, speculative, strange fiction. So when Kayla said that this was a five-star read and she really, really loved it, as soon as I saw it, I was like, you're coming home with me. Next up, I picked this one up from Olive e. Blake. It's called Alone With You in the Ether, a love story. Two people meet in the art institute by chance. Prior to their encounter, he is a doctoral student who manages his destructive thoughts with compulsive calculations about time travel. She is a bipolar counterfeit artist undergoing court-ordered psychotherapy. By the end of this story, these things will still be true, but this is not a story about happy endings. So I don't know anything about this other than the fact that everyone reads it seems to really, really enjoy it and love it. I haven't read The Atlas Six by all of you Blake yet either, but I'm excited to kind of give her books a go and I can't wait to read this. I think this is considered adult contemporary, I wanna say, with some like romance elements, I think. Next up is another book that I first found from Kayla's channel from Books and Lala. She read this in her like romance era vlogs and that is Seven Days in June by Tia Williams, a novel. And this is also part of Reese Witherspoon's book club. And I just thought that like the premise of this sounded so good. It's about two authors who met when they were younger and something happened to where they couldn't be together but they were both in love with each other and they've spent years writing each other love letters in their books. So apparently like they write each other as like the main protagonist or love interest in all of the books that they write. And they've just been going back and forth until one day they finally meet. I think they try things again as adults. It sounds so good. I was reading a little bit of this in the store and I think I'm gonna love this. I can't wait, especially I think around Valentine's Day, this would be so much fun to read. So there's that one. Next, we've got another highly anticipated 
anticipated new release of the year, and that is Holly Black's The Stolen Air. I am so excited for this, you guys. I don't know anything about this. This is from the author who wrote the Cruel Print series. I feel like collectively, most people who read that series are completely in love with it and obsessed, and I definitely am in that boat. And so when I heard that she was coming out with a new book, I just, I needed to have it, okay? I needed to have it. I went to the store specifically looking for this title, and I'm so excited that it's in my hands. I don't even know what it's about. I kind of wanted to go into it not knowing a lot, but I will read the synopsis for the first time with you guys. So it says, a runaway queen, a reluctant prince, and a quest that may destroy them both. Eight years have passed since the Battle of the Serpent. Surin, child queen of the Court of Teeth and the one person with the power over her mother, fled to the human world. There she lives feral in the woods, lonely and still haunted by the merciless torments she endured in the Court of Teeth. She bids her time by releasing mortals from foolish bargains. She believes herself forgotten until the storm hag Bogdana chases her through the night streets. Surin is saved by none other than Prince Oak. Oh my God. One of these characters was in the original Cruel Prince series. Okay. Now 17, Oak is charming, beautiful, and manipulative. He's on a mission that will lead him into the Ice Needle Citadel and he wants Surin's help. But if she agrees, it will mean guarding her heart against the boy she once knew and a prince she cannot trust besties. I need to read it like yesterday. <laughs> and then finally, this was a little bit of a cover buy for me. It's called Scarlet in Blue. And this is by Jennifer Murphy. And this is about a mom named Scarlet and her daughter Blue and how they are on the run from a person who Scarlet says, I think is called the Shadow Man. That's what they call him. And Scarlet believes that if the Shadow Man catches them, he will kill them. And it's about I think like Blue growing up on the run and trying to to find out who the shadow man is while also trying to understand her mother. And it's also a story I think that focuses on art. Those are all of the books that I ended up purchasing, but now let me show you the four that I have. Okay, so first of all, these two were sent to me. I actually picked them out from book of the month. <laughs> the first one is Hellbent, okay? And this is another book that I am just dying to read this year. Hellbent is the second book to Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. This is an adult fantasy series. It has dark academia vibes in it, and it also has like some ghost vibes in it. And then the other book that was sent to me that I picked out is called What Lies in the Woods by Kate Alice Marshall. Kate Alice Marshall is one of my favorite authors. Her books always make my top 10 of the year or like my favorite books of the year. And this is her first adult thriller to my knowledge, and I'm very excited to pick this up. It says they were 11 when they sent a killer to prison. They were heroes, but they were liars. And then I ordered these two books. So the first book is a book that I actually found from Brit's channel from Basically Brit. I will link her down below. And it is the collected works of Oscar Wilde. I saw her talk about this book and I immediately wanted to go get it because I love Oscar Wilde's writing. And I just thought this was a beautiful, beautiful bind up of all of his works. And then the final book that I purchased is Lost in the Moment and Found. And this is by Shauna McGuire. And this is in the Every Heart a Doorway series or the Wayward Children series. And this particular novella is following a main character named Ansi. I guess Ansi finds a portal to a shop that is where all the lost things in the world or different worlds go to. And you guys, I think that's it. Those are all of the books that I purchased. I had so much fun going book shopping. I had so much fun buying all of these. I love books so much. They give me so much serotonin. And I would love to know from you guys, what was your latest book purchase and have you started reading it yet? And once again, a huge huge, huge thank you to Green Chef for sponsoring this video. Once again, a huge thank you to Green Chef for sponsoring today's video. I could not recommend them more. All of the links for them will be down below in my description. And again, if you are interested in trying them out for yourself, you can actually use my code, which is Roseland60 to get 60% off your very first order along with free shipping. And again, all you have to do is go to greenchef.com and then enter in my code to get 60% off. Links down below. I highly, highly recommend checking them out. And also before I go a huge thank you also to all of my patreons over on my patreon especially the executive producers of this video all of your names will be listed down below in my description i love all of you guys so much thank you so much for supporting me and supporting my channel and that is it so if you have made it to this point of the video please leave me a star emoji so until next time you
you guys keep your head in the clouds and your heart in a book, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!